What does fast twitch muscle really mean? Well, if we stab you in the quad with a really large needle and then look at your muscle, it will look something like this. You may have a typical distribution around 50% fast twitch and 50% slow twitch, or you may have up to 80% fast twitch or up to 80% slow twitch. The groups of slow twitch fibers are smaller, but they have more mitochondria and myoglobin content for better oxygen transport that helps them resist fatigue really well. By contrast, the groups of fast twitch fibers are larger and they do literally twitch faster, around 80 to 120 impulses per second relative to the approximately 10 to 30 impulses per second of slow twitch fibers. Genetics plays a huge role in your ratio of fast twitch to slow twitch training but targeted training may influence fiber characteristics as well. We just don't really know the extent to what you can transition from one to the other because that would require long-term studies and when you stab people with large needles, they don't like to come back. Overall, train for your goals. Don't worry too much about your ratio of one to the other because it's hard to test and regardless of what it is, you'll adapt to the type of training that you do and get better at what you practice. Follow for more training tips.